In the winter of 1974, I encountered a stout gray-colored bird, a kind of thrush, I assumed, forging along a stream in the Rocky Mountains. Unexpectedly, it dove into the mountain stream and disappeared below the surface. Although at the time I was a novice birder, I knew that North American thrushes do not swim. Fortunately, I managed to relocate the bird and watched it retrieve and eat aquatic invertebrates clinging to submerged rocks. Obviously, the bird I followed wasn't diving into the river to avoid a predator. Was it instead a hungry thrush that happened to discover a bounty beneath the waves? A particularly innovative bird that expanded its search image for new sources of food? Though none of these ideas proved correct, the food hypothesis has merit when viewed from an evolutionary perspective. In more demanding circumstances, dippers are well equipped to feed while completely submerged. When diving, their blood can retain exceptionally high levels of oxygen, and a dipper can change the shape of the lenses of its eye with specialized muscles to focus as it swims. To stay warm, dippers have evolved a thick coat of down covered by numerous contour feathers, twice as many as most songbirds. Retaining body heat, however, is not the only challenge a dipper faces when searching for food underwater in cold mountain streams. In deep water, dippers dive to the bottom of the stream, all the while flapping their stubby wings to move about. To keep from floating to the top and being washed downstream by strong currents, a dipper can grab hold of a rock with its exceptionally strong feet and legs. Being uniformly gray in color, both sexes are rather drab looking. Their most conspicuous feature is the white feathers on their eyelids, feathers that are exposed whenever a bird blinks. Perhaps within the dim lighting of a covered nest, a bird flashing its white eyelids signals to incoming dippers that the nest is occupied. Among the dippers I observed in Yellowstone National Park, eye blinking was most evident when a bird sat near or in front of their nest, often with its mate present, which suggests that the birds were signaling to each other, perhaps to appease or reassure one another. American dippers exhibit other curious traits worth noting. In the spring of 2010, in Montana, I videotaped two newly fledged young. The young dippers were easy to spot due to their incessant bobbing. Does a frequent up and down motion signal to predators that a bird is alert and would be hard to catch? Other small birds, including spotted sandpipers, wagtails, and palm warblers, also bob or wag their tails. And like dippers, many of these species feed at the ground level and often in exposed areas. Alternatively, since any movement of the head causes incoming images to pass across the retina of each eye, bobbing may help a dipper find prey spot a stationary predator waiting in ambush, or even locate other dippers. I filmed the fledglings while sitting beneath the bridge near the young bird's nest, with my camcorder positioned only inches off the ground. When shot from such an low angle, the smallest up and down movement becomes noticeable against a bright background of reflected light. What prompted a thrush-like songbird to switch from gathering food on land to diving underwater. We will probably never know, but access to an abundant source of food certainly provides a strong incentive. Undoubtedly, swimming in cold mountain streams requires a lot of energy that in turn requires harvesting a lot of food. To do this, dippers have evolved into predators possessing a unique set of skills and adaptations.